Now we're moving on to the boys, um, the season finale. Check this out. We don't really hate anyone. It's not something we can afford. We're under attack. We are? Bad guys want to hurt us just because of what we look like. They want to wipe us from this earth just because of the color of our skin. It's called white genocide. And we're going to need people like you to protect our kind. Here we go with this bitch, this Stormfront bitch. We knew from what, what, episode three, we knew she was a racist. And can we safely say that, Larry? Didn't we know by like episode three or four she was a racist? Oh, I knew as soon as I saw her name. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, La I mean Larry Stormfront knew. The name Stormfront. I mean, it's, it's, I knew as soon as I saw her name, I was like, this is a racist bitch. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this episode and this season was bananas. It basically ended with they went to get Homelander's son from Becca, which is Butcher's wife. They brought together the, the, the coming of age story, Butcher getting to see his wife again, Huey and Starlight hooking up. That hookup created kind of more of a What's what can how can I say this? They all want to get Vought because Vought yeah. is basically creating these scenarios where they've got these superheroes supposedly soups, excuse me, supposedly trying to save humanity when they've got this compound V that they're using and is considering using it to make other super superpowered soldiers, which is what Stormfront's husband originally wanted to happen. Right. It all it all comes to a damn head, ladies and gentlemen, when Butcher makes a deal with Edgar, who is the CEO currently of, who's the CEO of, Larry? Vought. Vought. And when they make this deal with Vought, Butcher is, is going to get the son. He's going to trade over Becca. And while they come up with this elaborate plot to neutralize Homelander, neutralize Stormfront, and all this is going on while you've got parts of the boys trying to use the government to take down Vought. And that plan didn't go the way they wanted it to go. So Starlight and, and Huey go to meet uh, Maeve to try to get her to coerce, tell on Vought. She's like, hell no, because her lesbian girlfriend has ran away on her. She's upset. She's distraught. She's messed up. She said, F it, I'm not going to do it. So now right. we get to the big scene where they've got to get Homelander's son because he's the last hope that the regular people have to protect them from Homelander going nuts. Well, I've always said Homelander is nothing more than Donald Trump and Mike Pence rolled up into one with superpowers. And by the end of this episode, you saw that shit. <laughs> you really saw it. So this big battle ensues. All right. They get Homelander's son. They're trying to get away. Stormfront pops up. She starts beating up people. And then we had the new age Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> we had Maeve, we had Starlight, and we have Kimchi all beat the snot out of Stormfront. And you think Stormfront is done, but that's not the end of Stormfront. So now we got Butcher and Becca with the son running away. In pops Stormfront one last time. She's about to kill Becca, and the son actually got mad. And I don't know what kind of laser beam he shot out of his eyes, but he yeah. shot laser beams that completely dismantled Stormfront limb from limb. I mean, she looked like some burnt KFC chicken land on the ground. And then she was, she, yeah, dude, just it looked like she stepped on a landmine, boy. Man, he he effed her up. And in the process, Becca was killed, and then Homelander pops up. So now you got Butcher, the son, and Homelander. At this point yeah. in time, the son's like, F you, Homelander. You're not my daddy. He's going over there with Butcher. And of course, you're sitting here saying to yourself, what's to prevent Homelander from really effing up Butcher in Pop's Maeve? Mm -hmm. The Achilles heel for Homelander is... He needs to be loved by the people, just like the person we got in the White House right now. Right. Maeve waves her phone. She's got a recording of him killing people in the airplane, and her too. And she says, I'm going to make this public. 
and he doesn't want no parts of that. He lets Butcher and his son go free, which they're now going to be handing over the son to the government. And then in the very end, in a twist to get you out for next season, Victoria Newman, the congresswoman who's supposed to be taking over, overseeing the happenings going on with Vought, we learn she's got powers like Jean Grey, and we learn she's the one that's making everybody head explode. Larry, yeah. the floor is yours now. Woo! Woo! I did Ooh, not see wee. that one coming, boy. Me neither, man. I didn't I see did that one. I did not see Look. that one with, with Congressman Newman. I was like, whoo. Man. I was you, like, when I saw that, when her eyes went white, and I was like, oh, damn. Well, <laughs> well speaking, of, speaking of her eyes going white, the reason why her eyes went white, and I almost forgot to tell you guys, when they needed documents to expose Stormfront, A-Train got the documents from the church. I think the church is called the Collective. Right. right. And so we knew the church was crooked like Scientology. We all knew that. Mm -hmm. And what happens is the, the head of that church is talking to Victoria Newman, not to be confused with Victoria Newman from The Young and the Restless, at the end of the story, trying to get her to give them tax exempt status when she is standing mm. outside his building on the other side of the fence. Her eyes turn white. She blows his head up. She walks away. Huey finds her and tries to get a job being the, being on the task force that's going to oversee Vought, not even knowing that she is on Compound V herself. Larry, the floor is yours now. Yeah, that was that was great. And I, and I love that scene with uh, with Stan Edgar when he's in there talking to the dude from the Church of the Collective. And he basically is just telling, dude, look, I have to do stuff differently. I don't have that privilege. I have to do stuff a little bit more subtly and, and, and you know, and right. tactically. And <laughs> it was really it was really just the dressing down of white America in that moment to say, yeah, Black people can get stuff done. We just have to do it differently because of all the of all the crap that you make us go through. So mm -hmm. we don't have your privilege. So we have to be smarter and more tactical than you do. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we're we're more like scalpels where you guys can be blunt instruments because you have that privilege. You know, right? So what? So what Larry is saying is we got to be surgical, right? <laughs> yeah, it was real. That and that conversation was really interesting to see. So, but. I was really happy that that little kid just straight up just dismembered Stormfront and took her all the way out because you just, I did not want to see, and I'm glad they didn't put that in. I did not want to see some Nazi crap win out the day. I just didn't want to see that. I would have been like, man, F boys, I'm done with them if they let that happen. So I'm glad that didn't happen. And this little <laughs> boy, what they're saying is he's likely going to be the only thing that may be able to stop you know, uh, Homeland, Homelander. Homelander. He might be the only one powerful enough to stop Homelander. So it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out. Especially, like I, like I don't know what it's going to be. I know that they, I know that Homelander handed the boy over to the, uh, to what's her name from the CIA. So I don't know who's going to raise this little boy, but mm -hmm. it's going to be interesting if Butcher, if the little boy basically is like, Nah, I want Butcher. Where's he at? And just starts throwing mm -hmm. tantrums and blowing stuff up, and Butcher ends up raising the kid. That would just be hilarious, you know. And it would be Man, sort of I, funny because, you know, that's what his wife wanted. She said, "I want you to protect him, make sure he stays safe." And so, if he's basically with him all the time and raising him, that would be keeping his word probably more so than just handing him over. But yeah, they had a touching scene at the end where the the mom had given him a, a necklace with a pendant that basically said, this is going to protect you when I'm not around. And he gives that necklace and pendant to the son. That was a, mm. and, and, you know, this is Butcher doing that. Yeah. You know, so, and he's usually not that tender hearted, sweet type of fella. And he done that for that kid, which he really wanted to kill the kid because his he first did. love was his wife. And, you know, he, he sucked it up because in essence, the kid is the reason the wife is dead now. But Butcher right. sucked it up. He saved the kid. He held his promise. And now, man, it's just the slow wait until next season. But this this was a damn good season. Very but good season. But can we talk about how this ended with Stormfront? I mean, with uh, with Homelander on the top of the buildings, just straight man. going at it? <laughs> right. That's why I said this is Mike Pence and Donald Trump rolled up into one character. 
Homelander you think that's what Mike Trump. Pence and Donald Trump do is stay on the edge of buildings, jacking them, jack it off? I think I'm sure Donald Trump does it. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. <laughs> you you don't, I mean, you just seen Donald Trump <sighs> get his ass out, get his ass out the hospital and then go on the balcony and do this this type crap right here. <laughs> what makes you yeah. think he won't get on the top floor of the highest building just to look down on what he thinks is his kingdom and nut all over it? Are you kidding me? Which is exactly what Homelander did. Yeah. <laughs> I was disappointed because I thought they should have had if they, I thought was since they had like the light in the background, they should have showed a big spurt shooting out, but they didn't do that, you know. <laughs> Right. I was like, right. damn, he's supposed to be a superhero. He can't even get a good nut off. I was like, that's just terrible. I no. mean, I mean, I mean, when you got the powers of Superman, the friction you putting on your mess down there, man, that thing probably liable to be fried like a weenie on Fourth of July. <laughs> well, see, this is, this is how I always. This is what I wondered. Like, how could you? How could Superman or Homelander? How could you even impregnate a regular woman? Because if you if you not you're gonna shoot right through the back of her. That stuff's gonna be like a speeding bullet. You maybe know? you maybe you can control how much. Maybe you can control it. I don't I don't know anybody's able to control that when it happens. You might be able to control exactly when it happens, but once it happens, it's it's gone. It's out of control. I mean the, these well, Homelander's not an alien, but Superman is an alien. But you know, Homelander's he's cooped up on compound V. So maybe maybe that part of him um doesn't do super super things. That's the only thing I can come up with. Yeah, maybe so. You know, maybe so. But, um, but it was a damn good episode. I'm gonna do season three trailer is out, and I'm gonna break it down because they've got another character coming up there who's supposed to be their version of quote unquote Captain America. And you got to think, ladies and gentlemen, this compound V is nothing more than the super soldier serum that Marvel used to create um, Captain America. Captain America. Only difference is you're getting a whole lot of freaky deaky other powers coming out of this compound V. And I'm interested to see where they go next season. And so I want um, to know when ahead. we're going to get a black, a black female suit. Um. Maybe next season, possibly. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure they have thought about that, and they probably they're probably working on it. And if you do bring a black one, you know they want to make her iconic. You just can't bring some Lily Starlight, or you know, you got to bring someone who's going to bring drop the hammer. So right. hopefully they'll we bring. Have, we have a we have a white we have white females. We have. And Asian, we have two Asian females because we have well, one Asian female. We have uh, Kamiko, and then we have an Arab one with uh, Victoria with Congressman Newman. Newman because Congressman yep. Newman is Persian. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So we'll. But see. we don't have a black one, a black yep. female one. We'll see, man. Get it in.